Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us for another video today. In this video we're going to be packing for a trip away with the children. Um, so lots of really good packing tips included so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon for another video. Bye bye. So for this trip I decided to write a quick list only because I know we're going to be going to the beach and I'm not sure whether the weather's going to be warm, whether it's going to be wet. I'm going to need extra things like waterproof. I have a little travel section prepared in our spare room and everything is just neatly in baskets and ready to grab and go. I love using these little packing cubes and that's what I've decided I'm going to use for this trip. So I get everything out and lay it on a spare bed in Ikea at the moment. They're doing a set of three packing cubes. They're really good quality. Um, there's one large and two small. So I'm going to use the two smalls for the children's like underwear and stuff. And then I think I'm going to use the large one for some electricals. Just like the girls both got these matching backpacks at Christmas time. So I'm going to go ahead and use them again and fill up them with their stuff. So talking about Christmas, I got this handy little label maker. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just thought I'd share it with you guys because I love it so much. So you connect it to your iPhone and download an app. And there's already a set of icons already stored on the app so that you can create your own labels. When you're pleased with your design, you can literally just print, tear off and go and stick it to whatever item you want to. So because it's February, we're definitely taking our Wellingtons on this trip. I know the beach is going to be slightly damp and that causes so much sand in the car. So this black crate pictured in the video is one of those ones that fold down flat and I usually just keep it in the boot of the Range Rover. It comes in handy for so many things. I've got an old brown towel, which um, again, kind of stays in the car for days in the woods or sports or anything like that. I do have a boot cover in the car already and it's in quite good condition so I've put another one on top of that because then when I get home I can just pull it out and shake out any sand or debris or anything that's fallen into the back of the car. So this wagon folds down and packs in the boot really neatly. I'm going to take this this year instead of a buggy. So I also have a section in my wardrobe for um, winter bits and waterproofs and also summer bits as well like sunglasses and sun hats so I'm going to go ahead and grab the box of waterproofs and I'm going to decide what to take for the kids. For Lydia I'm going to take her waterproof trousers and a coat and I'm also going to pack some waterproof trousers for Olivia and these are just beach shoes you can buy them anywhere. As part of our trip, we're also going to stay in a caravan for a few days on a holiday site and there's a pool. So I'm going to take the kids swimming stuff in this bag with extra towels and goggles. Okay, so if we're away for four days, I'm going to be needing to pack some essentials and these are things that we use obviously quite often um, my little one's got some allergies so I'm taking the Puritan and my older one she suffers quite badly from anxiety sometimes so we're gonna uh, go in with the rescue remedies there this electrical pack is so good again it's from Amazon you can hold all your memory cards in there and I keep all my cameras in there so I'm gonna take my camera with me because I'd really like to get some photos whilst we're away we're meeting up with family so it'd be great to get some footage and photos of the kids and uh, possibly make another YouTube video Okay, so no prizes for guessing where I got these little clear pouches from. I think they come in a pack of 12, again, from Amazon, and I'm going to use them for the kids' pocket money. So I'm going to take cash with me because we'll be going to the arcades and stuff like that, but more importantly, because we're travelling around, we're going to need some change for parking. Um, excuse my voice, it's really late at night and I'm trying not to shout because the kids are asleep. And I forgot my microphone. So, um, yeah, change for parking in these clear pouches. And then instead of taking a big handbag, I'm just going to take this shoulder bag 
and pop everything I need in there like my phone, my money, my driving license and a bank card just in case of emergencies. Okay so let's move on to how we're going to keep the kids entertained on the car journey. It, uh, it's about three hours like I said before so I have this backseat organiser for Lydia. She just has some books in there and a DVD player. I'll also pop in there um, a bottle of water that's always important on car journeys and we'll give her a cereal bar and then I'll go ahead and throw a smoothie in there. Her big sister will be in the back with her so she'll be able to help her. Um, an iPad for Lydia. Hmm, this is a DVD player we use. Um, this is our second one now in about 10 years because we used to have one for Olivia when she was little and I loved it so much that I went ahead and got another one when that one broke and we used it all the time so they're really worth getting. Um, and there's the backseat organiser there so everything's there for Lydia to enjoy her journey. So for my nine year old, she has a slightly different basket for the car. I'm gonna go ahead and put a book in there for her. She's gonna have a water bottle, she likes that one. Um, a DVD player with some DVDs to suit her and her age. And then I'm also gonna put her phone in there for her. And I'm gonna put a battery pack in there. Oh, and a little poppet for her to fiddle with when she's in the car. Olivia will also want her stylus in the car, so I'm going to go ahead and pack that. And this is from a brand called Mecco. Um, I can highly recommend them. It's just like a cheaper version. Oh, there goes the voice. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm packing that too. <laughs> Let's get on to the snacks now. Obviously, if you're going anywhere with kids, you do not want to leave the house without loads and loads of snacks, snacks for the car journey, snacks when you're away, snacks for night time. Um, I always take these two little trays as well because if we pull up somewhere, um, maybe on the beach or something, I can put their picnic on them. So here is everything we're going to take. We've got a fridge at both places that we're staying at this little mini road trip and we're taking some chocolate treats for me and some little sweeties for the car and then I also like to buy things that are in separate packets so that nothing kind of goes to waste and if we um, don't eat them we can just come home with them so yeah just things like yo-yo bears, raisins, um, little chocolate biscuits and a nice snack for myself as well. So here's the car all packed up and ready to go but without the backpacks I didn't get around to filming that bit. But thank you guys for watching again this week. Please don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back soon with another video. Take care.